السلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته. Brothers and sisters in Islam, we don't know how to thank Allah if we didn't have the word Alhamdulillah. But when we have the word Alhamdulillah, we say to thank Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala. We have to act also the action of thanking Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala as such as this gathering is action of thanking Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala. And Allah said in Quran, وَقَلِيلٌ مِنْ عِبَادِيَ shakur." Very few among my servants who thankful, thanking Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala. And وَلَا يَشْكُرُونَ اللَّهَ إِلَّا قَلِيلًا Even those who think thanking Allah, they didn't thank Allah except very little. So if we have to thank Allah, we have to make all our life to thank Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala. As what our Sheikh, Sheikh Ibrahim Radallahu said, وَهَلْ أَبْصَرَدْ عَيْنَاكَ أَحْلَى مَعِيشَةً مِنَ الْعَبْدِ فَهُوَ الْحَمْدُ لِلَّهِ كُلُّهُ He said, do your eyes ever see the servant who enjoy his life like this servant whose all his life is Alhamdulillah. And when he was saying that, he was very sick in hospital, but he's still thanking Allah wa ta'ala. And that word have another meaning, but we just need the closest meaning to everybody. We have to thank Allah wa ta'ala to come together from different places, different tribe, different cultures, we come together for the sake of Allah Tabarak wa ta'ala. Sayyidina Muawiyah inherited hadith that one day Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam came to them. He found the Sahaba together and he asked them, why you, you are gathering here? They said, we are here to thank Allah and to show our gratitude for what Allah has given us, that is Islam. And Prophet Sallallahu asked them again, Alillahi ma ajlasakum illa haza. You didn't come together for anything except this. They say, yes, we didn't come together except for to thank Allah Tabarak wa ta'ala. And he said, ma istahlaftukum tuhmatan lakum walakinnahu atani jibreel bi anna Allah yubahi bikun malaika. And he said, I didn't ask you to swear because I don't believe you, but to tell you that Jibreel has come to me and tell me that Allah, he proud of you with the, the presence of his angels. So this gathering is one of those because we come for nothing, but we come for commemoration of Sheikh Hassan Sisi Radalanu. Why we do that for Sheikh Hassan? Because, as what I say yesterday, he dedicated all his life to Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala. If you dedicate your life to Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala, you will still alive forever. You will still alive forever. قُلْ إِنَّ صَلَاتِي وَنُسُكِي وَمَحْيَاءِ وَمَاتِي لِلَّهِ رَبِّ الْعَالَمِينَ Everything you have is belong to Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala in reality. So you have to give it to Allah. Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam come to be the first of Muslimin. Qul inna salati wa nusuki wa mahiyai wa mati lillahi rabbil alamin. La sharika lahu wa bithalika umirtu wa ana awal al-Muslimin. He said, my salat, all my ibadah, my life, my death, all belong to Allah tabarak wa ta'ala. And in the end, wa ana awal al-Muslimin, I'm the first Muslims and it will mean here, Mumin and Mohsin together. So we don't need to go back to tell you about Sheikh Hassan's life because this gathering and the actions that you start try to prove the word to actions will tell you who is Sheikh Hassan's. 
But one word, he reminds me one of the Tabi'in, Abu Muslim al Khawalani. He said, Did the companion of Prophet وسلم, believe that we will leave it with them? No. We will compete with them until they know they leave behind them, they leave behind them men. And in our favor, when we say men, it's not just men, but it means strong believer. That Abu Muslim al Khawalani, he said, Wallahi. لا أزاحمن أصحاب محمد أو لا نزاحمن أصحاب محمد حتى يعلموا أنهم تركوا وراءهم رجال. He said we will compete with the Sahaba of Rasulullah صلى الله عليه وسلم until they know that they leave behind them men who walk, who follow Quran, who follow Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم, who love Quran, who love Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم. Who love the Ummah of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? Who prove their iman with their actions? That is the competition that he means. And that Tabi'i, from his karama, you know, he was in the time of Aswad al-Ansi. Aswad al-Ansi, the time of Prophet, he claimed that he is a prophet. So Abu Muslim al-Khawlani was among the people who fighting him, and he took him and put him in the fire. And he was praying inside the fire, and nothing hurt him, and the fire didn't burn him. What happened to, like what happened to Sayyidina Ibrahim alayhi salam? After that, he traveled to Medina Munawara. When Sayyidina Umar saw him, he said, he asked him, when he made sure that he's Abu Muslim Khawlani, he said, I thank Allah Ta'ala, who blessed me to see among the Ummah to Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Somebody Allah give him the karama, the same thing that Allah make with Ibrahim, he make with him. Even with Ibrahim is mu'jiza, but with him is karama. That's the man who said that he will compete with the ummah, with the sahaba of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa to follow the full step, to follow Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in the best way. And Sheikh Hassan was good examples for, for that. That's why we come together today. We are here in New York. People, when you think about New York, it's only dunya, but we are in New York now, but we are not in dunya. We are not in dunya, we are not in akhirah. We are with Allah wa ta'ala. And Sheikh Ibrahim radiallahu he said, Matlabu hazi ta'ifati kharij dunya wal akhirah. He said, his companion, what they're looking for is beyond life and afterlife. Because what they're looking for is Allah wa ta'ala. And you know, Allah is not dunya, and Allah is not akhirah. But if you have Allah, you have dunya, and you have akhirah. And the education of Sheikh Ibrahim will taught us how to be good Muslim, but to be good for everybody. We live with Allah wa ta'ala, but in the same time we live with peoples. Because one time he said, he saw Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa several times. He asked him to go back to Kosi. You know Kosi where the fighters start when he start calling to Allah wa ta'ala. And everything was very hard, even nothing to eat. But they mention Allah wa ta'ala day and night, and they don't feel anything because they enjoy the love that they have with Allah wa ta'ala. He said, he asked him to go back to Kosi. He said, the meaning is not to go to Kosi, but to go to the life of Kosi, to mention Allah day and night with, with all our breaths. Sheikh Radilano, he said, if you engage with Allah wa ta'ala, you are a man, you are a man. If you forget Allah wa ta'ala, you are not a man. So let's fight our nafs to be with Allah wa ta'ala, also 
but to be in this life, walking like everybody, like what uh, Imam al busairi said about his sheikh, he reached to the highest level of the awliya of Allah Taala. But when you see him walking, you think that he's, he's beginning to to get the maqam that he's looking for. We have to work hard to be good murid of Sheikh Ibrahim Radhiallahu. What makes Sheikh Hassan like this? Because he follow his grandfather, not because he is his grandfather, but because his inheritance of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And he followed Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, his first step, and he said, إِذَا سَارَ خَيْرُ النَّاسِ سِرْتُ وَرَاءَهُ فَإِنْ حَلَّ يَوْمًا فَالْمَسِيرُ بَعِيدُ The best of creation, if he walk, I walk behind him, if he stop, I stop. That means what Prophet said sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, what he said that is lawful, that is what he do, what he said that is not lawful, that is what he try to, to avoid. And we have to work hard to make this project happen. Because maybe we better than last year, because last year we don't have this amount. But till now, we have to try hard to do more than this and to compete for the good things. Because compete to do good things that will allow you to have ijab, which make Allah wa ta'ala to answer your prayer whenever you pray. And Allah said, Stabiqul khairat, compete to do good. In Quran, Allah mentioned Zakaria. Zakaria is na rabbahu rabbi la tazarni fardan wa anta khairul warisina. When he was begging and asking Allah wa ta'ala to not to leave him alone, because he was asking Allah to uh, give him children. Allah said, فَاسْتَجَبْنَا لَهُ وَوَهَبْنَا لَهُ يَحْيَىٰ وَأَسْلَحْنَا لَهُ زَوْجَةً Allah said, I answer his prayers and I give him his son Yahya and I make, I fix his wife, make him to get birth. Why? Innahum kanu yusari'una fil khairat. Because they would compete and do good whenever the time. So we have to compete to do good things. Try to build this zawiya. It's very big with Allah wa ta'ala. You will have opportunity to spend your money where you make sure that it's for Allah wa ta'ala. You will have opportunity to help the community. You will have opportunity to help the da'wah of Islam. Because every single Muslim or Muslim should be a da'i, a caller to Allah tabarak wa ta'ala. You have to call to Allah tabarak wa ta'ala. How you call to Allah tabarak wa ta'ala with good, good minds, with the hikmah. Ud'u ila sabiri rabbika bil hikmati wal mu'izati al hasana. But if you don't have a space to call to Allah Taala, how do you call to Allah Taala? People who love dance, they work hard to build dancing. Everybody among the, the jama'ah, they make sure they have houses. Maybe hundred do million dollars, maybe half a million. But everybody among the jama'ah, they have their own house. When it comes to Allah wa ta'ala, there is no house for Allah wa ta'ala. How you can prove that love? You love Allah and you can't do nothing for Allah. Two days ago, one of the murid from Singapore, he asked me, Sheikh, what's the best? Love, hub or ma'rifa? Love or ma'rifa? Knowledge, Oh, love. I say love is better than ma'rifa. Why? Because love is, the is one of the result of ma'rifa. Love is one of the result of ma'rifa. If, if you know Allah wa ta'ala, you know him complete, his name, his character, his 
all his all the things belong to Allah tabarak wa ta'ala is complete of course you will love him so love is is benefit of ma'rifa so if you love Allah tabarak wa ta'ala you can give for Allah tabarak wa ta'ala you can give everything for Allah tabarak wa ta'ala so we have to prove our love to follow the way of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam to follow the way of sahaba how they spend for Allah tabarak wa ta'ala even in hadith prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam three character if you have it together you are a believer insaf min nafsika wa bazdu salam lil alami wal infaq min al ikhtari insaf min nafsika that you accept the truth even if it's against you you give peace for all the the universe peace for all the universe and this is sound hadith in sahih muslim peace for all the universe so now you think you had people talking about peace 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 you think it's something that they created but in our deen we have it one of the the sign of iman bazdu salam lil alami wal infaq min al ikhtari spend even if you don't have if you don't have even if you have a little you spend so spend for allah tabarak wa ta'ala spend for yourself because if you have zawiya many people here they have to send their children to senegal to read quran of course there is some teachers in america but to see the teacher that you you trust to him he knows quran but he can educate it, your children in the right way that he will be good muslim and he will come back to america live with people with the peace with the respect and help who whom he can help that is not every school can give you that but if you have your own zawiya you can have your own school here not mean you don't come to africa of course we love to see you every day but we love to have to see you grow that what you going to senegal to other places to take it you produce it yourself from here in america and that will help islam more because you will have a muslim who grow in america with good islamic education and know his society and know the language know how to talk to the people the same way that they talking even if they use it for bad things you can use it for good things all this is part of da'wah so please try to feel, fulfill your promise because thousand dollar a, a year one year thousand dollar for one year what's that mean three dollar a day am i right three dollar a day everybody use three dollar a day for nothing because you buy some juice and drink a half and throw the half if it's one dollar now you throw you throw fifty dollar you go again you drink one bottle of water you throw it you throw another quarter of dollars so everybody throw it every day for what for nothing so try to do it for allah tabarak wa ta'ala wa anfiqu mimma ja'alakum mustakhlafina fihi what is in your hand is not for you is for allah tabarak wa ta'ala the time allah call you to spend for allah spend it for allah before the time you wish to come back to this life and spend for allah tabarak wa ta'ala this is i think is the best way to celebrate the the ziyara of sheikh hassan because for the murid to make ziyara if you stay here in america read one salat al fatihi you will read to him one eye of quran will read to him the quran that he help you to to study whenever you read it allah will reward him for it so why we come together here 
in America to do the ziyara. It's not just to come to read some ayah of Quran. We read in Quran in all our times. But we have come together as blessing because we see people from all over. That is one of the blessings of the ziyara. But to try to work together to make this project in reality. It was one of the Sheikh Hassan's dreams. One time I was with him in, in New York. He was thinking about he has a friend who can buy Aqsa Mosque for him. At that time, he don't have, who, who will take care of the place? So who will take care of the place? Because people, they are here. But teach them to have it themselves. It's better than go outside, look for somebody to give, give to you. Hmm? What we're looking for somebody to give to us, we have it. But we don't want to give it. Because everybody has, in, has his, his own house and nice cars. So one house for Allah, that is, I can't believe that. So because, but because of the barakah of the ziyara for Allah wa ta'ala, because you make ziyara, Allah will love you. If Allah love you, abwaab al-sama tem if Allah love you, the door of sky, the door of Allah Taala Himself is open for you, and we have that for the ziyara, because Prophet Sallallahu mentioned a guy was traveling to the village to visit a brothers, and an angel came to him, asked him, "Where are you going?" He said, "I'm going to this village to visit such as such. Do you have any business with him?" He said, "No." But I love him for the sake of Allah Tabaraka wa Ta'ala. He said, I'm an angel to tell you that Allah love you because you love your brother. I think all of us will have that today. We have guests, big guests from Nigeria, Muqaddam of Sheikh, uh, Khalifa Sheikh Ali, Sheikh Ibrahim Tahir Bouchi. We thank our consular Al Hajindaw. Uh, we are very happy with him. We appreciate his. Uh, actions. I greet also my big brother and friend, Sheikh Ibrahim, Haj Ahmed, and all the people who come from different places outside America, from London, from inside America, from Senegal, just to come for Allah wa Taala is not for business, but we come to spend our money. Because many people tonight some of them, they spend $1,000, 500 200 So you didn't come here to collect money. You come here to give your money for the sake of Allah wa ta'ala. But Allah said, what Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi said in Hadith, Allah said, Abdi anfiq unfiq alik. Spend, I spend on for you. So spend for Allah and Allah spend for you. May Allah uh, accept all our good deeds. May Allah accept all our actions for Allah wa Taala. May Allah increase our love for Allah wa Taala, for His Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, for our Sheikh Mulana Sheikh Ibrahim radhiallahu, for Sheikh Hassan, for us each other to love each other more. Today we have some guests, uh, some Mr. Mo from Shanghai. Morgan, he said to Ajib, you love me, I love you. If we put love together, we have something big. I say, you don't have bigger than love. You love him, he loves you, you have love. <laughs> love for Allah, tabarak wa ta'ala, nothing bigger than that. And we love each other for the, for the sake of Allah, tabarak wa ta'ala. May Allah protect the ummah of Rasulullah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. May Allah help the ummah of Rasulullah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. May Allah help us to follow the footsteps of Rasulullah sallallahu May Allah increase our love for Rasulullah sallallahu May Allah increase our love for each other. La yu'minu ahadukum hatta yuhibba li akhihi ma yuhibbu li nafsihi. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammadin al-Fatih lima awlak. Al-Khatim lima sawqa nasir al-Haq bil-Haq. Al-Hadi ila salatik al-Mustaqim wa ala ala haqqa al-Mufdari al-Azim. Salatan. Turina abiha al-Ijaba ta'ina al-Hina. Fi anfusina wa fi ahalina. وزرياتنا وأصحابنا وخدامنا وأحبابنا وأنصارنا من حضر من الجميع وغاب وزنا وعتنا ورفعنا ودافعنا وحضنا وسد أمورنا ورحب وقلوبنا 
واجعل خير ايامنا ويوم لقائك واسترنا بصدقك الجميل وعاملنا بلطفك الجزيل وفضلك الجميل صلى الله على سيدنا محمد واله وصحبه وسلم تسليما سبحان ربك رب العزه عما يصفون وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين ثانك يو ثانك يو عجيب ثانك يو عجيب عبد السلام ثانك يو فور اول اوف يو جزاكم الله عنا كل خير Thank you. Uh, please, before you leave, I just want to apologize to two sisters whom I was supposed to mention their presence.